Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would try the new Jaclyn Cosmetics, um, the cream bronzer. I have mine in Beachy, as well as the highlighter and it's called Glazed Out. I wanna try these on and then compare them with other products that I have. I also wanna try out the new Bite Vice lipsticks. So I have two of these. So if you're interested in seeing these products in action, as well as comparisons to other bronzers and highlighters, then please keep on watching. So I already have my face on and my eyes done, so I thought we would go ahead and start with the bronzer. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer that I got, and I got mine in Beachy. I wasn't quite sure what color to get, but that's what it looks like. I think that'll look okay. So let's go ahead and swatch this right here. This is what the color looks like. I do like me a neutral shade. It looks kind of light, so we'll see. And I'm going in with my Sonia G mini base brush. This is from her Kiaki set. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna put some on there like that, stamp it onto my hand, and I do have my face set. So let's go ahead and try this. Well, that's a good color. So if you're lighter than me, then you're not gonna to want to get this color because it barely shows up on me. But look at that. I think this is beautiful. And it's blending over my set face. So with, without with without let's build it up a little bit more it's called beachy and i am going to the beach today so that's why my makeup is a little bit lighter i think that is so pretty it's not streaky or patchy yeah that's really pretty i think this is one of the easier cream bronzers that i've come across and that's saying a lot because I do have a ton of bronzers that I'm going to compare it with. But it is blending out beautifully. So let's put a little bit on my forehead, on my jawline. My kids are starting junior lifeguard. So we're going to hang out at the beach while the boys do junior lifeguard. Oh, that is so pretty. I really like that. What I love most about it is it doesn't pick up my, well, I like the, I really like the color and it doesn't lift up my powder. Okay, so that's good. Let's try the highlighter. So this is what the highlighter looks like. I got the color glazed out. That's what that looks like. It's got a mirror right there. And let's go ahead and swatch this. It's so creamy. It's like a, creamy highlighter and that there's that color Woo! i'm gonna take my sonia g fan pro brush right here and i'm gonna take it into here i put a little bit on there you can see that there and i'm gonna stipple that in and see oh wow look at that you can already see it it shines brighter in the viewfinder than it does in real life so i'm gonna build that up Okay, this is not for the faint of heart. That is icy. It blends well with my bronzer and onto my face. I don't feel like it accentuates my texture and it looks like I'm glowing from within. And let's see, I don't see any like glitter sparkles. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just a sheen, which is what I prefer. Okay, Jacqueline, I'm impressed so far. Now I do prefer a more natural highlight, so this is a little bit uh, intense for my preferences, but it is beautiful. It sinks into the skin. It's not picking up my powder, foundation, or concealer, and there's no glitter. I don't want glitter in my highlighter. Okay, let's try these lipsticks. I got two of the Bite lipsticks. I got mine in a Depends on Traffic, which is a cream, and Back Talk, which is a matte. I'm going to try, which one should I try first? Let's try the cream lipstick first. This is the Depends on Traffic color. This is what that looks like. I'm gonna try them on without lip liner so you can see what that looks like. That's the Depends on Traffic. This is the cream formula.
very comfortable. And this is the cream formula. This is depends on traffic. Okay, I like that. Now I am not a matte formula person, but I thought I would try the matte formula as well. And this matte formula is in back talk. So this is what back talk looks like right there. This is also very comfortable too. It feels really light, very light layer of lipstick. It doesn't feel like I have that much on. It's not like drying on my lips. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna wear throughout the day. So that's back top in the matte formula. Okay, let's go ahead and do some comparisons. The only thing is you always have to get this just right <laughs> to get that to close. That's the only drawback to this. Okay, let's try some formulas. So I got a bunch of my cream bronzers out. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen cream bronzers. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try this. Let's compare this. This is the Beachy from Jaclyn. So we'll compare everything to this. So there's that one. I thought I would compare it to this Tarte bronzer cream bronzer so you can see that this one is more neutral than the Tarte one so let's go ahead and compare this and the Jaclyn one is more creamy oh this is a lot cooler tone than this one is but I really like this one too then I thought I would try it against Bondi Bay which is the nude sticks so let me swatch this right here that one is Bondi Bay. But the Jaclyn one does blend out much easier than this Bondi Bay does, which I haven't used this one in a really long time. The others, I have a couple other sticks. This is the by Milk Makeup in Baked. So let's go ahead and try this right here. My Baked, I think, is drying out because it's really hard to do, but this is much deeper. Then I thought I would try it against the Westman Atelier in Biscuit. This is much cooler tone, more of a contour. And there's that one right there. This is Biscuit. This is the Jaclyn one that we're comparing it to. Then I brought out the Makeup by Mario contour stick. This one is in light medium. That's light medium right there. More of a contour. So these are more contour sticks. And there's the one by Jaclyn. I thought I would compare it to the Tower 28 Bronzino, and this is in West Coast. So those are the differences. This has a shimmer to it. See, it's much more shimmery than this one, but this is really pretty on too. Then I have two of the Patrick Taws. Let's go with the She Statuesque first in the cream. This is She Statuesque. Much cooler and much lighter. This is my winter shade. But that's more of a contour. Then the other one is She's Sculpted. That's this color right here. So we're comparing it to this Jaclyn. Then I thought I would bring out my two Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in 0.5 and Intensity 1. So let's go over the 0.5 one. So you can see here, it's more of a contour. And this is very creamy as well. 1.0 Intensity is right here, much darker. Then I have a couple more. I thought I would compare it to Danessa Myricks. This is the Balm Contour. And this is in medium. Oh, look at how different that is. So let's try this. This is the Cream Contour. It's similar to the Tom Ford, right? Then I have the Power Bronzer by Danessa Myricks. So let's look at that. That looks pretty similar, doesn't it? So this is pretty creamy. I'm going to put it right here. cooler too. 
And then the last one I wanted to compare it to was the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is the last one. And there are the colors. The Chanel one is much lighter. So let's see. I'm gonna put it right under here. Oh, I'll put it right here, it'll fit. Yeah, that's much lighter. So there are the comparisons, and this one is the Jaclyn Hill, and I really do like that. If I had to rank these, I don't know how I would do that. So many good bronzers I have right here. Okay, I changed my lipstick back to the back talk. I feel like it goes better with this bronze look that I have going on right here. Okay, let's compare the highlighters to the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter. I have this one in glazed out. Now, I did not bring all my highlighters because whoo, we'd be here a long time. So I just brought out some of the more popular highlighters to compare them. So the Jaclyn and the Sisley. See the difference there? The Jaclyn one is much more creamy. So let's go ahead and compare this. This one has a little more pink in it. I do feel like the Jaclyn one is a little too icy for me. This is one of my favorites, the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. So let's compare these. And let me swatch this one for you. I do really like this one. And the other one is the Fleur de, de Luminaire by Chanel. It's the one with the pearls there. This is what the comparisons are. Let's swatch this. Oh, can you even see that against my... Yeah, this is deeper. It's got much more of a rosy pink tone to it. And then here I have the YSL 3D All Over Glow. So let's compare these two. Swatch this. So there's that, so icy. The Jaclyn one is so icy. Maybe I should have gotten a different color. Then let's compare it to the most recent Pat McGrath highlighter. And this is in Golden Nectar. The Jaclyn one is still a lot brighter, but I really do like this Jaclyn one. I mean this Pat McGrath one. So pretty. This is so icy for me. <laughs> and then one of my new favorites is Makeup by Mario in Pearl. So these are the two colors. This one looks like it might be bright too. Oh, but this is more of a muted kind of color. This is really icy. And then the last one I thought I would compare it to is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. And those are the differences there. So there's that one. Yeah, that's a lot more muted. I think this is a little too icy for me, but I will have to say it blended out beautifully on the skin. And there's no sparkle to it because I'm too old to have sparkle in my highlight. You know what I'm saying? So there are all the comparisons to some of the more popular highlighters. Okay, let's talk about these products. This Beachy Cream Bronzer is beautiful. Beautiful. Jacqueline did a great job on this. Now, the only thing is I know that the shades are not inclusive, and I know she tried to address that in a recent video, but she could have done better. And hopefully she will do better like she said she would. But this is a beautiful bronzer. And if you're a light, medium, or lighter, this would work well for you. But if you're medium or darker, I don't think this bronzer would work for you because it's a little bit too light. This highlighter turned out beautifully. Now, this is not my favorite highlighter. I do love how it sinks into the skin and blends with the bronzer and how it went on over my set face. I don't think it emphasizes texture. It went on so smooth over the skin. This is beautiful, but I wish I'd gotten a different color. So that's the only thing. And then these two lipsticks, the cream and the matte formula, they're really comfortable. I'm really surprised. Now, do I prefer this or Bite Beauty? I don't know, I'm still gonna have to wear this for a lot longer to make a decision, so I will try this out for the rest of the month and give you my final thoughts at the end of the month. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.